What's going on YouTube? In this video, we're back attic pike fishing. We've got two pike rods out, both on the dead bait. I've got a beautiful macker on there, so I'll chuck him out right into the marina over there. Right, so I'm having some bites at the moment, guys. My float's slightly going under and back up, so I'm going to strike in just a moment. And Arnie's right over there is also having bites, so we could double up here. So I had them bites, I struck and had nothing come, but now I've casted out, it's took me on a bit of a ride, and it's here again, biting, loads. So I think I might strike again in a minute. Well, no fish landed as of yet. I say as of yet because we're having lots of little nibbles on the um, on the floats. So we've got a good chance. We've got about two and a half hours left of the session. So we've got high chances of catching. I reckon we'll get one in about an hour. And no, it's definitely nothing like last time because I had one within two seconds. So hopefully I get one in the next five minutes. You never know. I'm hoping to catch about two pike in this session. Um, the first one I want to get a little bit of a smaller one and the second one I want to try and get a bigger one so I'll put a bigger dead bait on for that but um, yeah it's not the ideal day for pike fishing as you can see the weather it's proper sunny in October's day it's been raining all week as well so and things aren't going too well my rod that snapped in the last pike video snapped again in a multiple like snapped in two different places so if, if you see this brand of rod do not buy it it's terrible I'm pretty sure the bites I had earlier would have been a pike. If I'd have struck a little bit sooner, I probably would have landed one by now. I'm absolutely gutted I missed that. I say this, we've got an hour and a half left, so most likely we'll get one. My float at the moment though, it's constantly, say this is the float, it's moving like this around. It's not going down, it's just swaying. And it that could be a pike playing with it, but I'm pretty sure if a pike saw it, he'd just smash it. As I said earlier though, I think we've chose the wrong day for it because Pike tend to not feed as much on hot days. They, they tend to feed on colder days, is what I've heard anyway. So, yeah. but you can still catch on hot days. You see, you just get the smaller ones because in the winter, like on the colder days, you, you tend to get the bigger ones. But on the hot days, you get the smaller ones. If that makes sense. I was saying to Arnie earlier, I wish we could fish in the actual wharf down there. I think that would be a fishing god spot. But you're not allowed to fish in wharfs or whatever they're called. So, um, that's a bummer. Right, Arnie's float's going down dramatically, so we're gonna strike. Has he got it on? I think we might have a fish on. No, it was a, oh, it's a snag. Ah, oh, man. Ah, I hate snags. Everyone does, but um, we'll get that back out. And we've got a better nail to play with now, so time is ticking. The float down there is at it again. It's just, it's swaying side to side and going down every now and then. Fish on? No, no, it's another snag. A barge just came past, which is very bad, obviously. Scared a lot of the fish away. Fisherman's worst nightmare barges, I hate them. But that gave us an opportunity to both recast. Now I've recasted in the center of that thing there, like where the bridge is in the center of it. It's very good cast and I, I should get one from there. And the other one is just by that wall. We've now only got half an hour left and I'm, I'm not feeling it. But whenever I say it and I'm thinking I'm not gonna get one, I always end up getting one. So the chances are high that I will, and the chances are high that I will because this place is rammed full of pike, literally rammed full of them. Everyone comes here and whips them out. And I did the other week, if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out by the way. I caught like an 8 to 10 pound pike from here, and he had like a really weird deformity on him, but I don't want to catch that one again, it was a weird one. I want to catch a smaller one this time and actually get, um, get the gist of holding them because I've never held one before, so. But obviously, as the winter's approaching, you'll see a lot more dead bait videos on this channel because um, float fishing in the winter is not the best as I've already started to notice so a lot of dead bait pike fishing and lure fishing for pike videos will be uploaded I've just changed the dead bait I've put like a yellow one on it stinks my fingers reek now but um, should do the trick for the last half an hour we're giving it a good old push we're going out right in the middle again so wish me luck right this is some last minute luck I hope uh, both our floats are moving right now, so we've got a very high chance of catching. My float's waggling about and going under. It definitely looks like someone's playing at it. We've got three minutes left, literally three minutes till we've got to pack up, so... My float's being still played with. I don't know what it is. It could be a snag, but if this isn't a snag, this has got to be a last minute fish. Come on. I'll tell you what, I'm not good at catching these fish, but I'm good at missing them. It's got to be the smaller pike playing with the floats. It's going again. Both our rods are going again. Arnie got a fish on? No. Arnie's was a big snag. Um, mine's still being played with though. It's bobbing on, it's gunder. Should, you reckon I'll strike Arnie? Uh -huh. No, I'm, I'm gonna leave it a second. I'm gonna reel in so there's no slack and I'm just gonna strike. 
Come on, let me get a last minute. Damn, it's not. It's not a pike. Right, so I think my sign to leave has just come because I cast it and the dead bait fell off. So unfortunately, we're going to pack up now. Well, that was really sad. It was a nice session out, but um, unfortunately, we didn't get nothing. On multiple occasions, I, I was convinced we was going to double up because Arnie's float was going like that. Mine was going like that. They were both bobbing up and down, but we just didn't land one. But I suppose you win some, you lose some. Fishing is just a big waiting game. And I, I guarantee if we stayed the day, we'd get some, but I don't really fancy staying any longer, I'm being honest. So we are all packed away now. We've had a nice session out, no catches. So I'm going to wrap up here. If you enjoyed, please smash the thumbs up down below. Helps out a lot and means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Subscribe to my channel whilst you're down there, please. Means a lot. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. So if you could all subscribe, that would mean the world. About 70% of the people who are watching aren't. So please do. And then once you subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another one of my videos. But for now, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Thanks very much for watching the video, guys. Now, unfortunately, I didn't catch a fish or specifically a pike. So I'm going to show you my fish so you can um, actually get to see some fish in this video. Might as well do an update on them. Just a little weekly thing, maybe. I'll make it. But um, all the cichlids are doing great. As you can see, the, two, the new one there is coming out a lot more. Like, as of this week, he's only started to come out a lot. Because last week, he was just hidden behind that rock there for ages. I thought he died. Now they've just come back. I think I might have an addiction to buying fish though, because I really want to get some more over the weekend. The um, the little shark over there is at the back in his usual spot. The cribbins couple are down there in their little rocks. I put some food in and everything is going absolutely wild in there. Just look at that. Even the shire fish, for example, the cribbins has come up for it. They love the stuff. I might just get some underwater footage of the meat and all the food, I think that would be pretty cool, so roll the clips. Oh, you enjoyed them clips? I've just fed them and they're coming at the glass as if they want more. I've sort of been training this one as well, a few of them actually, a few of them just follow my finger around. I don't, they're not doing it now, they're camera shy. But yeah, I might be getting some new additions for the cichlid tank soon. Not sure what cichlids I should get, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment. But as for now, everything in the tank is doing amazing, same as last week and the week before. And I'll give you a weekly update on these every week just for those who are interested. So one last look at the tank. I'll need to clean it out as well, so I'll clean that out. Probably when I get some new fish, if I do anyway, I most likely will. But this is the real ending of the video, so hope you enjoyed the pipe video and this little bit of fish tank update. So I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.